This tutorial will teach you the basics of Flexalon. Start by creating a new Flexalon layout from the Game Object menu. You can add objects to the layout as children. You can modify the layout properties to create different arrangements. Flexalon has five different layouts. Flexible layout. Grid layout. Circle or spiral layout Curve layout And random layout The Flexalon object component controls the size of your layout and its children. You can adjust the width, height, and depth as needed. Choose Component Size If you want Flexalon to use the size of attached components, such as text, mesh, or colliders. Choose Fixed Size to specify a value. You can also edit the fixed size by dragging these handles. Choose Fill Size to fill in the empty space of the parent layout. Choose Layout Size to have a layout size calculated automatically. Let's look at some examples. Try creating a flexible layout. Set parent size to fixed and the child size to fill. Notice how the child grows to fill the layout. Now try changing the parent size to layout and the child size to fixed. Notice how the layout grows to fit the child. Flexalon constraints can be used to attach one object to another. The Align and Pivot properties determine how the objects attach together. You can also have the two objects match size by using Fill Size. Sometimes, you'll want to change your layout at runtime. You can add Flexalon animator components to your objects to create smooth transitions. Flexalon has three types of animators. Curve animator will let you define an animation curve between positions. Lerp animator will interpolate between positions. Rigid Body Animator will use physics forces to push objects into place. Flexalon also has more advanced features such as Cloner and Data Binding, Custom Layouts, and Custom Adapters. Learn about these features and more at flexalon.com docs. If you have questions or feedback, see the links in the description. Thanks for watching.